Right, so this is lesson seven. So once we've got our three ideas and we've inked them in, the next lesson now is we want to apply some colour. Uh, thinking about colour and meaning, uh, thinking about the genre that we're trying to communicate. And then down the right hand side in your booklet or on the file that I've uploaded to Teams, there'll be some prompts where we can look at annotating them based primarily on aesthetics. So you're looking at fonts, colour, imagery and layout. So if we start with the colours, uh, so let's say this is my design, so I'm going to try and when I render it, uh, these are not presentation drawings, so we're not looking for things that are absolutely um, like super, like spending hours trying to shade them. We're trying to communicate the colour, but we're trying to do it relatively quickly, but enough for somebody else to understand them. But I'm trying to add in a little bit of tone on here, so there's my nuclear waste panel. So this is going to be a beach. So these are going to be actually similar colors. So if the light is coming this way, it's going to be a bit darker on this side. So I've got the sandy beach around this area. So I'm trying to mix my colors. So there are my light tones on that section. And then I'm choosing harmonious colors like an orange and browns to try and get the shadow or the shade in those areas. There we go, and we get the brown in there, so we get the shadow around this area. There we go. Okay, so this is gonna be my toxic waste. So with a toxic color, green color, there we go, we can shade that in. So I've got some white sections for highlights in there. I'm going to blend it with another harmonious colour for my shadows, a darker green in those areas. And then the sky, we're going to do a pale blue and then fade that up. Like that. So press on a bit harder just around the bottom section and then fading that up so it's white at the top. So already we can see that this is enhanced now. The next thing we need to do is gonna annotate them. So on the right hand side down here, you've got some prompts. So we've got some little arrows. Try and keep the arrows neat around the outside. So if I'm gonna talk about um, imagery, I could put the title imagery. If I'm gonna talk about fonts, I can put the title fonts. If I'm gonna talk about layout, I can put the subtitle layout. If it's gonna be information, we can put the subtitle info or information on the side. Um, and then we've also got colors as well. So again, try and structure your annotations um, with a, a, a description with a reason on the side. So let's say you've got a nuclear waste section here. I can say, I have used an image of a nuclear waste barrel okay that's my statement so i can see that and then i want my link because and then i want to link that to the description in the film synopsis if let's say i've used a modern font spaced out up here i could say i have used a modern uh, font style Okay, that's my description, I can see that, because, and then I can say, well, look, it's a modern film, I'm trying to communicate that it's a modern film on the side. If, let's say, I put the actors' names at the top, or if I position the under layout, I position the actors' names in a space where there's no detail, I could describe that in my annotation for layout. If I've included some bits of information, say why you've done that as well. Colours, if it was a horror film, you might choose dark colours because those colours reflect the genre best. If it's a romantic comedy, you use the background white. You say I've used the colour white in the background because, and then give the reason. So these really should, uh, you should have some prior knowledge of this when you did your product analysis of the film poster. So we're looking for three ideas with a finish applied to the line, with a finish applied to the colour, and then some annotations around the outside. Okay.